Disney Palace Pets by you a perfect pony for Tiana Bayou lived in the sleepy little country of Maldonia. It was a beautiful and peaceful land full of flowers, tall trees and mountains. Bayou's days were spent grazing in quiet meadows, running through green pastures and taking long naps in the palace garden. But now, Bayou was moving to a big city. She didn't know what a big city would be like. She wondered if she would still have meadows to run through or a garden to take naps in. But what worried Bayou most of all was that she would miss her quiet life in Moldonia. Bayou boarded a large ship with Prince Naveen's parents and they set sail for America. It was a very long voyage from Moldonia to the big city. They sailed across miles and miles of ocean and the trip took many days. Bayou was beginning to think they never arrive. Finally, the ship pulled into a harbor. Bayou looked up and saw that they had arrived at the port of New Orleans, the city she would soon call home. When Bayou and Prince Naveen's parents stepped off the gangway, there was a lovely lady waiting for them. It was Princess Tiana. Bayou was shy at first, but she was relieved to see that the princess was happy to meet her. And Tiana had a welcome gift for Bayou. It was a costume. Bayou had arrived on Fat Tuesday, just in time for the big Mardi Gras parade, a New Orleans tradition. Bayou had never seen a parade before. And this parade was a celebration where everyone ate and danced to music and wore colorful masks and costumes. But this was all new to Bayou. She had never worn a costume before and wasn't sure she'd like it. Suddenly, she missed her quiet home and wanted to go back. Tiana could tell that Bayou was feeling uncertain. Luckily, the princess had just the thing to make Bayou smile. Tiana welcomed the little pony to New Orleans with a slice of apple pie she had baked herself. If there is one cure for homesickness, it's sharing a slice of pie with a new friend. The piece of pie perked by you right up. And when the pony heard the parade music begin, she couldn't help but twirl and trot. The more she pranced, the better she felt. And as she danced, she admired her costume, twinkling in the starlight. Bayou decided that costumes weren't so bad after all. The Mardi Gras parade was an amazing sight to see. The streets of New Orleans were decorated with twinkling lights, vibrant banners and stands upon stands of brightly colored beads. Bayou and Tiana watched as floats, big and small, went by. They loved seeing everyone in creative costumes. But Tiana still had one more surprise for Bayou.
Tiana let Bayou Antway float, and the two became part of the parade. To Bayou, being in the parade was even better than watching it. As the crowd around the float clapped and cheered for the little pony, Bayou suddenly became very excited for her new life with Tiana in the big city. The next day, Tiana introduced Bayou to her best friend, Charlotte. Bayou would live in the stables at the Charlotte's estate. There was even a larger pasture for Bayou to enjoy. A very big green pasture and a garden perfect for afternoon naps. Then Tiana took Bayou to her world-class restaurant in the downtown New Orleans. Having her own restaurant was Tiana's dream come true, just as having a friend like Tiana was Bayou's dream. Nowadays, Tiana and Bayou spend their time together exploring the big city. New Orleans is loud and lively and very different from Bayou's quiet place in Maldonia, but the little pony had learned to love her jazzy new home, and she would never dream of leaving Tiana's side. The End